Hello, this is Olekius, and welcome to a new series. As you can see, we're using the updated automation. Kind of grays all over the place. Very stable, I haven't had a crash yet. I've been playing around with a potential new company. Monza Motors. Oh, I hate that they put this thing in here. And I'm going to stick with that name. I like it. Monza Motors. Got a little bit of alliteration. Um, and I'm going to be playing on Brutal. Yes, Brutal. Default settings, I'm not changing anything. Literally default settings. And we're going to do it in Feridia. And go. So uh, you have seen that I have been playing around with it a little bit. One of the things I've noticed is this revenue heat map that, while nice, um, and it says it's demographic size times average buyer budget, my numbers don't match theirs. Uh, not even when I'm looking at total size, like I have a significantly larger light delivery market and other things. Eh, it is what it is. I just don't trust their numbers yet. This is useful, but it's... Um, and it means I mean, need the spreadsheet less. But it's not entirely useful because... And tell me this number right here. What's the available size for my market? You know, like, that's a very important question. Because that's money. And it doesn't give me any sort of prediction on how many cars might I sell. Yeah, you have the, uh, the forecasting tool. I kind of need that information earlier in the process to be able to make decisions on how expensive and how big a project I want to do. But that's just me. For now, let's get into working awareness, what I really care about. And uh, we do need to pump up the dealerships at some point. Because it takes a little bit for this to bump up. And I think our initial vehicle, I'm planning on about three years. So a million a month, I'm, I'm fine with that target cost. And we'll get into Hetvezia at level three, 100,000 a month. That's not a big investment. So we're going to start a new model in both. I have not decided on a naming scheme yet. But I also doubt we're going to get through everything. Uh, things we're looking for. We're going to do the micro van again. Going to do it. Make sure that's the one I wanted. Yep, 1.96 meter. Um, <laughs> microvan. <laughs> oh man, and we're doing it again. Uh, things we're going to do, we're going to go with steel, ladder, steel, front, solid, solid. I want this cheap. Easy to produce. I am even willing to sacrifice quality. In fact, I haven't tried that. I don't want to do it. Knock it down one on every single category. Is that wow? That live changes it. Ooh, and knocking it down one is a significant improvement on engineering time. I mean, it's terrible for the car, but. Why not? We're going to build a cheap delivery van. Let's get into that engine project. 
in line three because it's dirt cheap. Uh, the engine we're going to build is going to be an 88 I 66. Which is mid max, you notice I bumped into the edge of the uh, allowable. And before I forget to add it, I'm going to keep the naming the nomenclature that we had from last game. I might change it with time. Sacrifice quality. I'll bring this down. Well, we're probably going to have to bump the top end back up to quality. I don't think we can sacrifice it that much, really. Sacrifice quality on the fuel system, single barrel, eco, lean out the mixture, and forecast, none, none, minus one. Yeah, we're gonna have to run that some. Now we're getting a little flow float at the RPM limits that I was expecting to use. I did all mine on zero. And if I bump the top end up, it eliminates all my problems. Like the, the quality, especially in 1946, the quality of your top end is paramount to everything. Like that's a huge difference on the high end. It just gets more pronounced the higher into the high end you go. Not that I consider 3,900 RPMs to be particularly high end, but the end. Getting marginal changes. I might tweak that for 30 instead. My test car was a little bit different. So let's stick with this. And we're probably going to... The expectation is to retard the timing rather than advance it. And that seems to continue to be the case. Yep, still the case. I'll try a 6.9. I think this will retard it too much. And we're losing way too much on the power band. By having a very, very light, or late ignition timing. Cast log has some improvement. Hurts the fuel efficiency, so I'm kind of against it. The other ones, you, you'll see bonuses to fuel efficiency, but they're not that great. Most of it's going to come from necking down the exhaust. And that's the same as my test model. So a few changes from my test model. To taste the waters, get a feel for this. Especially with the negative one on everything. <laughs> A little pop there. Oh yes, and we need to edit the engine. That's gonna make this a 12 liter Eco 37. We want our delivery van. We're gonna extend it. Give it as much room for delivery as possible. I'll give the driver a little bit of room. It'll look like a micro bus. Rather than just a micro van. 
I sync that in. That looks absolutely ridiculous. I think I'm going to keep it. it out too. It's just that that looks like a giant happy face with a giant happy cyclops. All right, putting aside those thoughts for the moment. All right. I'm going to want a rear wheel drive. Uh, two gears, of course. Open diff. Drop the quality. Hard long life. I'm going to want to adjust the wheels. But we'll get to that in a little bit. No under tray, highest quality, basic none, quality, standard 40s, highest quality. There we go. With the utility suspension, look at that, we're already in the 200s. I haven't even tweaked anything. Of course, they want super overdrive mode. Hmm. I think I saw a 243 up there. Let's see. Did I see some? I was seeing things. Two twenty-three. Interesting. I'm not used to seeing them do that. Of course, the delivery van wants to space it out all the way. I'm going to do a more tame and Reasonable 60. Manual locker cost extra, so I'm not going to do it. Did the spacing cost anything? No. I didn't think so. Now, for our original, we, uh, our test model, went with really super tiny tires. And 11 inch rims. <laughs> I think we're going to have to back that up a little bit. I'd like to keep it as cheap as possible, but also I have to be reasonable. I think we went with max brakes front 50-50. Nope, because we have all the brake we need in, in the rear. We just need to bring it down to that. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind uh, more expensive brake pads either. Hmm. More front bias on there. Don't go even higher. Wow. And drop it three. I don't want to max out the front brakes. Makes it hard to drive. Not that I'm necessarily going to drive this in BMNG. Not that I'm against driving it in BMNG. We drove our microvan as the initial BMNG episode. We can plot. We can pit this one against it. Uh, I like that setup a little bit better. Gives more cushion in the brake. they will know nothing but love for cooling airflow and which means reliability that's why it becomes uh, very popular I designed a convenient big scoop for them in the front I'm making this one a little bit more expensive than I had did my test model but it's because I dropped the quality so I think it's going to end up evening out 
Uh, I will try the suspension settings that the test model had. We'll see how those work out. And then we'll adjust from there. I think it'll be closer than what the game gave me. Oh, can't do any lower right height. You want it bottomed out. It would like stiffer, stiffer suspension. Better dampers. 181, 181 decimal two. I don't think they're gonna want any more because it's gonna hurt comfort too much. And then sway bars, they don't care how much it rolls. They're just using this to tweak the drivability and lowering it because they generally like it a little bit lower. Well, there are stats. See how it is on the markets. Very good. Test track it because people are going to be curious. Four minutes even. Wow. <clears throat> uh, I don't know what I'll call it yet. But what I do expect that we need to have it at medium. We're gonna pay for the automation. I'm gonna use our old settings. I'm gonna do a little bit different on the engineering side. I'm gonna leave it. Bump up the pressure just a little bit. Bring down the time. Bring it in under three years. And then for engine, oh, I forgot to note how many I'm going to be producing. Twelve hundred. I'm not sure that's actually enough. Sell them for a lot. Eighteen hundred to twenty five hundred, twenty five hundred. I like that. Go back to the engine. We're looking at. 500. Pop the quality and everything. I don't think we can do a small three. That'll be like 1500, 1300. Be way too little. Our engine factory will be a little bit inefficient. Again, we'll keep it the same. Pump it up the pressure to bring it down under 36. To throw money at it. Funding, we can get it down real low. I don't want to cut any of the other sliders. 28.9. There we go. Quite want to sign off on anything yet. I want to be able to come back to this. Tweak a few things. It says we're going to lose lots of money. Uh, it's fine. Oh, wow, the car factory is going to take a long time. Uh, that makes sense. Building. Completely rebuilding it. 
completely rebuilding the engine factory too. Part of the disadvantage of the hard or brutal setup. And then we're going to do something crazy. We're going to make two cars at the beginning. This one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to go with that nice coupe. Aluminum panel. Ladder, steel, front longitude, double wishbone. Zero quality. We don't want negatives on this one. Gonna go for an engine, boxer four. And I think what I liked was an 89 two. And a 72 came out to a nice round number. Uh, dual overhead, four valve. Cast heavy, heavy, heavy duty. I know it's crazy. Why am I doing a short stroke with a heavy duty cast? Because reasons. Um, if I finish this out, uh, it needs to be a. Actually, it doesn't need to be a twin. Standard. Bring this up to max. Leave everything else. Uh, long tube. And uh, nut. It's because it produces lots of torque. And that torque is too much. If I go back. Even that's. I could. Drink the engine slightly with that level of torque. Like that's that's not terrible. I was going back and forth on heavy cast or not for for it, but we can't hit those high in RPMs. And if I lengthen the stroke at all. It hurts the engine significantly. Actually, get zero percent by just bringing it down a bit. Just accepting that uh, just under one point eight, rather than doing the full. I'm gonna do a cast. Cast. Oh, there's one change already. Bring this up is oh oh and we're already running into issues again. That's why I haven't tweaked everything to be exactly where it needs to be. And not that far, but how much horsepower do I want to sacrifice? Wonder if we bump up quality. Hey, there we go. Quality sliders saving us again. This engine's already gonna have disgusting engineering time. But if a quality of one, I mean, cast cast, go up to 72. Has to be a finely man manufactured bottom end. I'm okay with that. If we neck it down one, two is too many. Neck it down one, that's our max. Efficiency for the exhaust system. Alrighty. And I wash the engine out if I do that. So let's take a look at increasing the compression. Which hurts us. Yep, and continues to do so. And if we advance the timing. We don't really gain anything. Uh, I can look at it exactly how the curve is adjusting. 
or I'm looking at performance index. Uh, a little bit of fuel efficiency, but mostly the performance index. And I'm pretty happy with where it's at. Oh yeah, 100 more RPM. How much is it for the fuel system? Not a significant increase in engineering time. Significant increase in cost, and that is a concern. And the exhaust system actually costs less if you engineer it more. That's interesting. Take a listen. Sounds like a boxer to me. Uh, on that note, I lost sight of project. We have boxer four, cast gas, eighty nine by seventy two. Four valve, dual overhead cam. And then I kind of already know it's a 1.8 liter Sport 118. Didn't hit 119, did it? Nope, only when I increased the exhaust quality. And that's fine. Go back to car. I want a nice hoop. I'm actually going to leave it pretty default. I feel a need to change it. Rear wheel drive. We're going to want four gears. We are going to want roughly 120. I want sports compound tires. We're going to aim for 12, 610 with 165. We're going to want max brakes, both sides. Pretty fancy brake pads. Balance I'm, I'm going to mess with anyways. An even air system. Interior, we're going to keep basic. I'm going to do two plus two seats though. We want standard 40s. There we go. We have a sports vehicle. More aiming for light sport. Although, if they're going to give me sport, a uh, light sport has. A larger demographic though. I'll make sure that we hit that. Uh, where is Sport at? Mm, yeah, the light sport's gonna sell more. Unless we could hit the the sport budget market a little bit hard. And combined it would be reasonable ish. But if we go back to our thing, we'll use the sport for now. He count. Oh, right. That's what's killing it. My bad. That makes it our light sport. Like they wanted about there. necessarily want the shorter or longer gearing no manual locker test out three gears yeah they definitely want four I mean it's not a huge difference but it's enough of one 
Got some work to do on the suspension. Fifty fifty brake bias. Not terribly efficient, but uh, it's nineteen forty six. You have a bit of affordability, but bump up quality of a lot of things. As long as the engineering time didn't go too high. Like the engine's gonna be the big part. So why don't we bump up quality by one for everything? Except the engine. We'll see where that lands us. I'm gonna like it. Except for the safety. Okay. You don't have to have better safety. Uh, they're marginal changes, but they're changes nonetheless. I'll look at these tweaks again. I would like standard. I like to keep it cheap, but I think I'll splurge and do it with standard. I don't think they want the radio. It's too heavy. And now we can get tweaking the suspension, which is going to be all jacked up because I've been changing everything I intended to do. I find this an interesting phenomena with this number. It does not make a lot of sense to me. It appears to be going in the wrong direction. Thirty nine. Okay, that's more of what I expected. All right. We bring it down to zero, brings us to a reasonable level. Now, if we look at this, we don't want to soften it too much. Just our dampers. They're going to want stiffer. And I went with a thousand thousand. That's still a workable plan for us. Lower? 39. 138. All right. There is a too low, probably because the max load capacity is so low. Well, really not that low. Keep it there, and I do want to be on below the sportiness. I don't want to hit 100%. A lot of power on this car. In fact. I might want to shorten the gearing some. Partly to eliminate wheel spin. I have to shorten it too much to get all the wheel spin I want out of it. 
but I like it overall. Does the automation test track in two minutes and 44 seconds? I'm go look at the spreadsheet again. Looking at some of our initial cars, I refigured this a little bit. Uh, if we're looking at 1951 ish, I did not put my microvan in here. I did not. We had a we had to get up to the Grot SS to hit times like that for Archana or Lightning. That is Alamea was the first one. Balo hit it though, and that was fairly early on. Grot SS and the Balo were the same generation. Huh. Yeah, and I don't see any uh, really amazing times in there. So this that'll be interesting to see a an earlier version, uh, depending on when it finishes engineering. We'll take a look. Um, we are looking at a small plot. 98 cars is a little bit too small a number. Not a terrible time, but the engine is where I think we're going to suffer. Small plot, small factory, 210 engine. Two hundred twenty-one engine and eighty-nine months. Get that down to sixty. Sixty-nine months. So to the car cars we have three hundred eighty-four. Yeah, how these numbers change so much. Oh yeah, I might have to refigure the other one. Now it's up to 10,000. Uh, I can do up to a thousand. I'd be happy with that. 500 feels more tame and reasonable. Or 600. Got the engine factory. Let's bump you up. That's not gonna be enough. So just under 600 engines. I'm happy with that. Forecast tool says we're going to lose money. I don't care. Because we're not. Uh, and I'm going to go absolutely bonkers and we're going to fail immediately or we're going to be wildly successful or we're going to limp along supporting failed projects. Something. We'll find out. But we're also going to get a 1945, fairly decently sized, steel, steel, front, double, double. Intending this one to be a family car. I'm thinking of standardizing around boxer engines as my Furini for my Furinia run. This one's gonna be a little itty bitty for. I completely have to redo now. 87.9. Direct acting cam, cast, cast, cast. I'm going to go with 7.5 initially, 
30. Moon barrel equal twin on lean. 43. I wrote down lots of notes this time. Forecast single. 19. None, none. Complete engine, all ready to go. 45 horsepower. And no need to tweak sliders. I would really love to do this, but it just, it ends up costing so much. Top end is so important though. But again, I forgot. That's the car, not the engine. Got to write this down. We have a boxer four cast cast sixty six by eighty eight. Seen those numbers before. Overhead valve or cam cam. And we're looking at a one point two liter standard forty five horsepower engine. Then we're looking at a station wagon. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the defaults on this one. I'm not going to morph it. I'm going to do a rear wheel drive. Really? They wanted four gears? Seems unusual. About 120 open. Wheels will be. Oh, I didn't write it down. All right, we're winging this one. I was reading from well, something from the previous series. So I'm running off of memory on this one. I want standard 40s. Do a normal setup. Uh, and not aiming for the family utility. We're aiming for family. Family utility will probably end up being the highest though. Two wheel drive. Two gears. There's our sweet spot. They want it higher. I'm not sure I'm willing to go for longer spacing. It just gets kind of ridiculous. Uh, no manual locker. Figure they would want the better compound, but it looks like that's not the case. That because ah uh, yeah, that's probably because it's, that curve is atrocious. Don't need super big tires. If I remember correctly, it was one twenty over one forty. Then if we go medium, all right, they just like the hard long line. Can't go that route, next down too much. Do they like the cheapness? No, they like the the better. All right, we're going hard long line. Uh, Brakes. Let's bring them to a fifty-fifty split. I think we're gonna have to have high quality pad type. We have lots of space to work with on these brakes. Let's max them out. Bring the pad type down until they're happy. Give us a little bit of wiggle room. I, I might actually just leave it like that. Fact that it lines up so nicely. 
I'm gonna like cooling airflow. On a little standard interior. No, not doing it for you. A little radio, of course, that kills it. I would love the extra safety. I uh, might cough up the time to do it. Uh, now for all of this. Let's start around here. That's about to be expected. Oh, that's much stiffer rear spring than I expected. Wowzers. Right, because they're going to want good drivability, so they're going to want stiffer front as well. Within limits. Yeah. I need the dampers to compensate. Keep them at 1.6. As if I do increase rim size. Hmm. Thank you, game. Give me uh, advice that works pretty well. Forty one. Still say they're pretty high profile. Having a bit. Very high profile for the front still. Because they're so thin. Some much different tires than I initially intended, but uh Pretty significant improvement for the car. Uh, that changes our brake profile a bit. Get down to there. Oh, they want me to consider it. And, uh, the people have spoken. They disagree. We'll keep the overdrive. And now, find out where do we want to put the height. Where they want it, I think that load capacity is a bit low, but okay. And there we go. That might be as good as she gets. At least for this iteration. That gives us a nice station wagon. I'll build a factory. Uh, it needs to be medium because we need fuel presses. Gives us a thousand cars. See how this changes. Reminds me, I need to go back and change that. Four thousand cars. See, that's way too many. If I have to, I will do aluminum panels on this. And we'll leave it average. Forecast tool is going to tell us we're crazy. Uh, we need to go back here. Well, 
you know what? I'm not gonna bother you with tweaking the factories to get what I what get this to be where it needs to be. It's silly. Um so I will tweak some of this off screen. Uh, I will let you know if the family car ends up going aluminum panel so I can use a smaller factory even though it will be more expensive for the car. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode to discuss that. Thank you for staying to the end. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think and how crazy I am for doing three cars right at the beginning when brutal settings with no money. How is that even going to work? You'll see. And uh, I will see you next time. Take care.